Imagine a fighter jet that not only outsmarts enemy radar, but commands a fleet of combat drones like a real-time battlefield strategist. Enter China's sixth-generation stealth fighter speculated to be the J-36, a mysterious aircraft recently spotted and rumored to redefine aerial warfare. Unlike traditional jets built for dogfights, this aircraft could serve as a combat drone command center, operating as the brain of a networked combat system. Why is this important? Because it signals a shift in military strategy towards seamless, manned-unmanned coordination, setting the stage for the future of warfare. China's rumored sixth-generation stealth fighter, the J-36, is an engineering marvel that breaks away from traditional fighter jet designs. Its most striking feature is its tailless stealth configuration, a deliberate choice aimed at enhancing radar evasion. By eliminating the tail, a common radar reflective surface, the J-36 becomes harder to detect, giving it a significant edge in contested airspace. This isn't just about aesthetics. Stealth is the new priority in modern aerial combat, and the J-36 embodies that philosophy. Footage of two nearly identical tailless jets spotted near aviation hubs in Shenyang and Chengdu has fueled speculation about their capabilities. Adding to the intrigue, the PLA Eastern Theater Command hinted at the aircraft's existence by featuring a jet resembling the J-36 in a New Year's promotional video. While official confirmation is absent, military analysts have been piecing together its potential features from these sightings and expert assessments. One of the standout attributes of the J-36 is its rumored superior radar and sensor systems. These are expected to detect stealth aircraft at greater distances, offering a significant advantage in modern combat scenarios. Unlike older generation fighters that rely heavily on close-range engagements, the J-36 focuses on beyond visual range BVR, combat, utilizing its sensors and weapons for long-range precision strikes. Another key feature is the fighter's large centerline and side weapons bays, designed to carry heavy payloads. Among these is the PL-17, an extreme-range air-to-air missile capable of reaching targets up to 400 kilometers away. This armament enables the J-36 to target critical enemy assets like refueling tankers, surveillance planes, and other high-value targets without entering contested airspace. But the J-36's innovation goes beyond weaponry. Its tailless design suggests a focus on stability and control systems driven by advanced automation and artificial intelligence, AI. This technology allows the aircraft to operate seamlessly in highly dynamic environments, making it not just a stealthy fighter, but also a highly adaptive one. The J-36's most transformative feature isn't its stealth or weaponry. It's its potential to act as a combat drone command center, a capability that redefines air combat strategies. In modern warfare, the ability to coordinate manned and unmanned systems in real time is becoming the ultimate advantage, and the J-36 appears designed to excel in this role. At the heart of this capability is the concept of manned-unmanned teaming, where a manned aircraft like the J-36 acts as the brain of a network, linking various assets into a cohesive combat system. Imagine the J-36 in a high-stakes operation. It could direct drones to scout enemy positions, deploy long-range missiles, or even engage in high-risk maneuvers, all while the pilot remains safely out of reach of enemy fire. This ability not only enhances the effectiveness of drones, but also protects the human operators. The J-36's rumored AI-driven systems and real-time data-sharing capabilities are key to this strategy. These systems allow it to gather, process, and disseminate battlefield information at lightning speed, creating a unified view of the combat zone. This integration reduces the kill chain, the time it takes to locate, track, and neutralize a target, from minutes to mere seconds. For example, if enemy forces deploy stealth aircraft or move critical assets, the J-36 could detect, analyze, and deploy drones to intercept them in near real time. Another advantage of the J-36's network-centric role is its ability to extend operational reach. Traditional fighters are limited by their fuel capacity, weapons load, and human endurance. By coordinating with drones, the J-36 can extend its operational range, using drones as forward scouts or even weapon platforms. 
This makes it particularly effective in long-range interdiction missions, such as targeting enemy air forces, tankers, or surveillance planes. In this role, the J-36 isn't just a combat aircraft, it's a force multiplier. By acting as the command center for drones and other assets, it amplifies the effectiveness of the entire network, creating a layered and coordinated defense, or offense. The introduction of the J-36 signals a profound shift in global military dynamics. This isn't just about building a better fighter jet, it's about redefining how air combat is conducted. By focusing on stealth, automation, and manned-on-man -man teaming, the J-36 represents a new kind of aerial dominance, one that could reshape how nations approach military strategy. China's decision to prioritize the J-36's role as a networked combat hub reflects its understanding of modern warfare's evolving demands. Traditional dogfights, where agility and close-range combat skills dominate, are becoming less relevant in an age of long-range missiles and advanced radar systems. Instead, the emphasis is on creating a seamless system where manned and unmanned assets operate as a unified force. The J-36 ability to coordinate drones, fighter jets, and surveillance aircraft positions it as a central node in this system. Globally, this development highlights a growing arms race in sixth-generation fighter technology. The United States is also pursuing similar manned-unmanned teaming capabilities with its Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program. However, the J-36 sets a bold precedent by potentially entering service sooner than expected, signaling China's commitment to being a leader in aerial warfare innovation. There are challenges, of course. Questions remain about the J-36's operational limitations, such as its suitability for carrier-based missions. Its size, weight, and tailless design might make it difficult to adapt for naval operations. However, even as a land-based fighter, its potential as a long-range interdiction platform and drone command center is undeniable. For China, the J-36 is more than just a military asset. It's a strategic statement. It underscores the nation's ability to integrate advanced technologies like AI, automation, and data sharing into its defense systems. This integration doesn't just enhance combat effectiveness, it also positions China as a technological innovator on the global stage. As the J-36 continues to evolve, it serves as a reminder of the rapid pace of military innovation. The J-36 isn't just another fighter jet, it's a glimpse into the future of warfare. With its tailless stealth design, advanced sensors, and revolutionary role as a combat drone command center, it represents a seismic shift in military strategy. This aircraft isn't about dominance, coordination, and precision in a networked battlefield. As nations race to develop similar technologies, the J-36 sets the stage for a new kind of aerial combat, where manned and unmanned systems work together in perfect harmony. It's a reminder that the future of warfare isn't just about machines, it's about how we use them to reshape the battlefield. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.